Hey everybody, it's Brad again. Um, I got a few minutes that I can make another video uh, for September Floriani Club since the first one was so short. Um, I uh, I was just goofing around with the program trying to see if I could get it to do something and I got it to do it. So what we're going to learn how to do is we're going to learn how to create an inflated outline from text. Uh, and if you don't know what it is that I'm talking about, that, that's fine. Just watch and you'll, you'll see what, uh, what it is that I'm going to do. Um, so go ahead and open your program, hit create new design and let's get inflating. Um, so the first step is going to be to bring in uh, some text and it doesn't matter what the text says. We'll just go up here to this capital letter T, left click on it and then left click on the capital letter T again. Um, your cursor will turn into a uh, capital letter A. You're going to click somewhere in the design field anywhere, left click. Okay, um, choose a font, any font will do. Uh, I have Dolly chosen, but you know, any font, it doesn't matter. Um, the prettier the font, probably the better though. Uh, so we pick a, a nice pretty font. Uh, I'm gonna type in, uh, of course, Meadow, like I always do, and hit apply. Okay, so now we've got our lettering so far, it's um, pretty straightforward here. Um, and what we need to do to, inf to create an inflated outline is actually use this outlines tool here. But if we click on this, nothing happens. It doesn't let you create outlines off of uh, text design. Okay, so what we need to do is convert this text design into something else. So the way we do that, um, first thing you do is you're going to go down to your uh, sequence view here, hit the little plus sign, and then hit right here where it says text. Okay, so you're going to select that. Then you're going to copy and paste this. Okay, so you can just hit Control C on your keyboard and then hit Control V on your keyboard. Uh, or if you have any other way that you like to copy and paste, do that. Um, and then now we see that we've got two of these. So the second one is going to be the one that's selected. We're going to right click and choose Break Up Text. Okay, and now we'll see that we've got all of these are now broken up as satin paths instead of as a text design. So we want to select all of these satin paths. So keep looking in your sequence view. You're going to left click on the first one and then hold down the shift key and then left click on the last letter. It's going to select all of those paths and then you're going to take those and you're going to convert them to artwork using this icon down here. It looks like a little star. Left click on that. Now we've got an outline going around our whole, uh, our letters. Uh, and what we want to do is we want to click on create outlines up here now. So left click on create outlines and set your ripples to one and set your spacing to 0.25. Now you can increase this if you want it to be farther away. This is going to be a quarter inch away from the letters. Leave it on cascade um, and leave it on join repeats, although that doesn't matter with only one ripple. We're going to click OK now. And now we have an inflated outline. So what this does is it traces the contour of our lettering design, but it works much, it, it's, it's something that is difficult to do by hand, um, and it creates a, a nice effect. So what we can do here is turn this into another type of stitch. So we could have this a normal steel stitch. Um, oops, I only wanted to have the outline do that, not this outline. So make sure that you only have the the last artwork selected before you do this um, down here where it's showing that outer shape. I'm going to click the steel stitch here and we can see that it creates a nice border stitch around my logo. Um, or we could do it as a motif stitch too. Uh, and in the motif stitch we've of course got all these different choices for which ones uh, we want it to be. Uh, and you can create a neat effect there. Or we could even turn this into an applique using the uh, the applique button. Um, and I'd be able to applique this name onto something. Now, I've still got the artwork outlines here, so I have a choice here. I can either leave those as artwork and they just won't sew out as anything, um, or I could turn them into uh, a running stitch and have a running stitch outline around my, my letters. So let's do that. We'll select all of these, again, by selecting the first one, hold down shift, and then left click on the last one, and then I can hit the run stitch here. We'll make it a different color so we can see it. Uh, and let's put it in 3D. Look at that. Nice outlines around my satin stitch letters and a cool applique that is created from an, a true inflated outline. Um, uh, an inflated outline means that it's tracing the outside edge uh, of the design and getting larger, rather than if I were to take these outlines and try to make them larger, no matter what I do, they're never going to line up and create an echo effect. It just it doesn't work that way. Um, so that's cool. That's a way that you can get that inflate effect from existing 
uh, letters that, that you have. Um, there's another program that I have that does this uh, automatically. And I just I wanted to see if I could do it in Floriani too. And I can. So that's fun. Anyway, uh, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.